On number 5, we got Stabbing His Own Heart. Werner Theodor Otto Forsman, German surgical trainee in 1929, is famous for an experiment he performed on himself. Without any direction, he put himself under local anesthetic, incised a hole in his arm, and pushed a catheter all the way up his limb and shoved it into his heart. He performed the procedure himself with two feet of cable after which he walked to the X-ray room. He was fired after this stunt but was awarded the 1956 Nobel Prize for Medicine for developing a procedure that allowed for cardiac catheterization. On number 4, the homunculus. Paracelsus was an alchemist and physician in the 1500s that was credited for his earliest works in toxicology and psychotherapy. He was also the first person ever to mention the unconscious in a clinical manner. Though his most bizarre works lies in creating a homunculus, basically a miniature human that is supposedly created by transplanting a human egg into a horse's home and then feeding it human blood. Not surprisingly, there is no record indicating a successful outcome to this experiment. On number 3, the human cyborg. Kevin Warwick is a British scientist and a professor of cyber kinetics at the University of Reading in UK, known for his research in robotics. He also holds the distinct honor of heading up one of the most advanced cyborg research projects in the world, basically becoming the first cyborg in history. By having electrodes and chips implanted into his body, he was able to directly interface with the university internet and control a robotic arm remotely. On number 2, the weight of the soul. Dr. Duncan O. McDougall was an early 20th American physician who theorized that the soul has weight. He claimed that he could measure the mass lost by the human body when the soul departed upon its death. His experiments even showed that the soul has a weight of 21 grams when he took six patients in the process of dying and weighted them. Needless to say, his conclusion never really caught on much in the research community. On number 1, Raising the Dead Robert E. Cornish, a child prodigy from the University of California, Berkeley, who graduated with honors at the age of 18 and received his doctorate at 22, was interested in the idea that he could bring the dead back to life. In 1930, he attempted to bring dead animals back. He placed them on a seesaw to get their blood flowing and while he was rocking their corpses back and forth, he injected them with epinephrine and anticoagulants. A few that momentarily start back to life suffered blindness and brain damage, but they were quickly declared clinically dead once again, and he could never replicate the success on a human. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to Bizarre Mysteries for more interesting weekly videos.